All right, we're back with dumbbells only, and today we're hitting shoulders, which is a pretty damn important day. So if you don't want your wife to leave you or your kids to get hooked on basalts, I'd pay attention. So over the years, I've noticed one of the hardest muscles for people to connect with is that lateral head, which is incredibly important. It gives you that nice roundness, that fullness, really caps that delta off. And I'm no different. I can't just walk up to a dumbbell rack and do side laterals and expect my traps not to jump in, or if I slept like shit the night before, my neck not to stroke out. So the best thing I've found is really to prime that side delt by doing partial reps and then get into the full range of motion. I like to do this two separate ways. First way is with partials at the bottom of the movement. Now, this should be perfectly fine for anybody with shoulder issues because we're gonna open up that wrist, supinate that palm forward, which is gonna open up that shoulder, and then instead of going directly out to the side, which could get that anterior delt to jump in, we're gonna go back at a 45 degree angle. So at the very worst, you're gonna get that posterior delt involved. Anybody that says they have overdeveloped rear delts is full of shit. Most people have a giant gap where the rear delt should be. And this is a very slow controlled movement with a static hold at the top. So you're coming out to the side, three second hold, and then back down. Make sure you try to disengage that delta second, let it relax, and then re-engage to start the contraction. The other way is by doing partial reps at the top of the movement. And these suck so bad that I'm only gonna use 10 pounds and it's gonna look fake, but the struggle is real. Also, I'm a honey badger. So I'm gonna go beyond what most people will feel is a safe range of motion, pushing beyond parallel, keeping my palm down the entire time. And if you're not okay with that and you're not comfortable, completely understand. Turn that thumb up, shorten the range of motion, stay below parallel, the choice is yours. You just get some weird flashback to Legends of the Hidden Temple? Me too. If your side delts aren't blown up by now, you're also broken. Welcome to the club. I don't know about you, but my form on side laterals always changes. I don't know if it's just because I'm bored, but what it feels like is I'm trying to hit a moving target because what I connect with the best always changes. So recently I've been getting a lot of stupid extra wasted movement involved, but it really has helped because what I'm doing is I'm rotating those wrists on the way up. Feels like a machine side lateral. It looks like it's a waste of time, but really what it does is it leads those elbows to start the contraction and make sure that those are the highest point as I contract up. All right, let's hit anterior delts next because we're gonna have nothing left after the disgusting sets we're doing for rear delts. As simple as it sounds, one of the best ways I've found to really hit those front delts is by doing a front raise with a lightweight 15 pounds, but making a couple modifications. First one being is instead of coming directly to your side, you're gonna bring that weight between your legs, which is gonna help keep it out of your trap, but also put a little more stress on that front delt. And as you start to get into that stretch, you're gonna lean back to the point where you see that front delt relax. That way when you re-engage it, you're gonna lean forward to make the contraction even harder. All right, we're finishing up with rear delts doing a tricep, going back to back to back, layering the exercises based upon difficulty, so there's no need to rest in between, just suffer through the entire set. Starting out with rotation, so elbows tucked to your side, rotating those shoulders, finishing the contraction off in those rear delts, right into a straight arm rear delt fly. Now this is where you have to decide what the best range of motion is for you. For me, I felt fine doing a full range. If it jumps into your traps, try partials at the top or the bottom, and then go right into partials at the top, palms down, Real short range of motion, just peeking out that contraction. So as always, like, subscribe at the notification bell, leave a comment for the video you want next, and remember, basalts are bad. Get after it, get growing. Talk to you soon.